Hey there, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This is Emily. This is your singles love reading. I hope you're excited to be here because I'm very excited to give you this reading. This is if you have a sun sign in Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could also have a moon sign, a rising sign, a Venus sign, any of the signs, maybe even your ascendant. Go with whatever you want, but primarily your sun sign. So um, just a little bit about me really quickly here in case you don't know who I am. Um, I am a tarot reader and um, I also do magic if you don't know my channel. I pop cards. I don't just lay cards down on the table like this. I don't, I don't do that. Um, I went to the hand chiropractor today and Jesus Christ, they put like these, bzzz, these buzzing things on my hands. I hadn't been in two weeks. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, if I pop a card and I feel that the energy is wrong, I will put the card back specifically because right now, um, I'm feeling pretty strong but um, this is actually the first time I've pulled cards today. So um, I wanna make sure that my pull is strong enough. I'm really, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles right there with the Eight of Cups. Okay, so I'll tell you guys right now, the water signs that I did, it didn't end up turning into a singles reading because they needed to be conveyed a different message. So I'm going to start this off as a singles reading, but if I feel like another message needs to be conveyed, I'm going to convey that message to you guys, okay? Because that's why I'm doing this reading. So we're going to start it off with hopefully looking into singles and, um, you know, what's coming up for you guys. This reading is going to be, um, I'm going to make this like exactly one hour because I'm planning to do fire signs after this. Hopefully they'll be happy about that. Okay. Um, also, please do like this video. Please leave a comment on this video. Um, that means a lot to me. Very, very happy and excited to read your comments. What's falling out here? The Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. If cards fall on my readings, it means something. I'm extremely, extremely connected to my cards. I can cut the cards and you can see an energy. Um, so if you've never seen my reading before, you're, you're in for a treat. All right, I want to tune into Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius singles. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius singles right now. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius singles. This wants to come out. This wants to come out. Wow. I, you know what? I'm... I feel really drawn to take these cards, you guys. The Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Tower. I'm taking these cards. I feel really, I, I, I'm going to, I'll draw, I'll draw some extra cards, but I feel like those cards came out for a reason. The Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Tower, these cards just fell out. They just fell out. Yeah, my nail fell off. It actually fell off. It was extremely it, painful. I had to pull it off of my car. It was really horrible. If any of you guys, ladies, have acrylic nails, and you go to take your nail off, and it like takes your nail off, part of having acrylic nails, really bad. This right here, this just came out. Um, it was in the order of the Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Tower. That's that's telling me something. I'm gonna keep those out. I want five cards. Five cards, please. Five cards for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Five cards if they're single. Five cards if they're single. The most dominant cards right now, please. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Put them on the table. Five cards. Knight of Wands reversed with the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Five cards for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. The High Priestess, Judgment reversed at the bottom of the deck. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Queen of Wands. Page of Wands. 
So we've got Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Page of Wands. Got a few wands in here, y'all. One more card. One more card. The Sun reversed and another card wants to come out. The Queen of Cups reversed with the Death card reversed as the overall energy. The Death card reversed with the overall energy. Okay. Interesting. I'm just going to ask something about these cards right here. Why did these cards fall? Why did these cards fall right here? What is this? What is this Seven of Swords? Okay, there you guys are right there. King of Swords. Why did these cards fall? What is this energy right here? What is this Seven of Swords? Five of Wands in the Tower. What is this energy right here? What is this energy right here? What is this energy? What is this energy right here, please? What is this energy? King of Wands reversed. Okay, we've got a Queen of Wands and a King of Wands reversed. Nine of Swords. Um, overall energy here. So, oh man. I'm already getting a feeling. I'm already getting a feeling. This might be like my Pisces Cancer Scorpio reading. Okay, this is, this is somebody you guys are... Hold on. Hold on. I don't want to speak too soon. What is this energy? What is this energy? More information? More information? Three of Pentacles wanted to come out with the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there you guys are at the bottom of the deck. Four of Swords. Waiting on something. Four of Pentacles reversed. There you guys are right there. King of Swords. Can you give me something very specific on the tower? Six of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. What about that Seven of Swords card? The lovers with the devil reversed. Wow. Okay, so this is some toxic shit right here with that seven of swords. This is somebody this this situation right here is is something that sorry, with the way this camera is, the cards are coming out opposite. So this is the first card. The seven of swords, the five of wands, and the tower. This is something you guys have been through. You guys have already been through this. If you haven't been through it, then you're about to go through it. I'll tell you that right now. And this is not looking like it's going to be easy. I've got a king of wands here. The devil is reversed. There's that same energy right behind it with the nine of swords. Okay, this is going to cause a lot of anxiety for you guys. What's it about? The lovers. It's all about the lovers. What's this devil reversed? I haven't even gotten to your main cards yet. I'm just looking at these over here. What's this devil reversed? This wants to come out. Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is some, this is this is not a solid offering. This is this is not going to get you any fucking where. Excuse my language. This is not going to get you anywhere. You're just going to be sitting there hoping one day unicorns are going to fly, or that unicorns are even going to exist, or the grass might be orange. Not going to happen. Something else on the devil reversed. Judgment card reversed. Oh my, you got, you know what? This is just like my water sign reading. Um, six of cups reversed. Yeah, this is, this is somebody that you guys could possibly want back in your life. Maybe judgment card reversed. Judgment card reversed. Judgment card reversed. Because this is making a decision. Yeah, see, this is only going to end in heartbreak. Eight of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who's not going to work on this. You, this, okay, this, let me pull these cards up. Let me pull these cards up and let me look at the, the actual cards that came out. Let me look at the cards that actually came out here because the Knight of Wands reversed is a very crazy, erratic energy. 
You guys, you guys have a lot of wands here. You have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands reversed, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands, and then you have, um, so you have two Queens, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups reversed, and then you have two major Arcanas, the High Priestess and the Sun reversed. Um, so you guys are, I mean, this is kind of an interesting grouping of cards here. Give me something on this Knight of Wands reversed. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, singles. If they're a single, if they're a single person right now, you just show me what I need to see. Because like I said, I'm not saying you guys are going to be like my water signs, but I'm already getting a little bit of a feeling like, yeah, two. Knight of Wands reversed, please. Knight of Wands reversed. What is this card? What is the energy of this card that needs to be seen? What is the energy of this card that needs to be seen? I'm telling you guys, there's a tower here. There's a tower with this Ace of Swords. Okay, something something needs to... I'm going to pull that tower out. What is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords? King of Swords. King of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. There you guys are right there. There's your person right there. That's you or that's your person. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. King of Pentacles, Reverse, Four of Wands. Yeah, you want a really happy home with this person. It's coming up upright. Knight of Pentacles, Reverse. Slow moving as shit. Slow as molasses. Are they going to really offer anything? What's this tower? This is a little bit to the side. I'm not going to take this reversed. Again, Four of Cups reversed. You guys, it's going to be tough reading. I'm going to be honest with you. I already feel it. Six of Pentacles reversed. Um, so this is actually this is actually not a bad card, but this is what you guys want. So the Six of Pentacles, look, look what's behind it. The King of Pentacles reversed. This is what you guys want. You guys want stability. So Six of Pentacles, as you can see, um, actually, no, in this deck, so in this deck, this actually is a positive card upright. So in every deck, the Six of Pentacles is a little bit different. Do you see that he's giving money to both hands? Okay. So in this deck, this actually is a negative. It's a negative because this is getting crumbs. In, a, in some decks, the, the, the coins are not going to both people. But do you see how they're going to both people? So actually seeing this reverse, this is actually just telling me that... Um, your this this knight of wands reverse that's coming out because this is the this is the energy that i was pulling for you guys for 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 singles for libra gemini aquarius singles um whoever this knight of wands is and here's another thing that i see with this this could also be telling me that these are perhaps the type of people you're attracted to are you attracted to these type of people? See, look, Ace of Cups. Just as I was saying that, I told you I'm very connected to my cards. Is this the type of person you're connected to when you're looking for love? And if it is, why? With the moon reversed. Maybe it's like... <laughs> it's so funny. The moon reversed. Well, the moon is a card of lunacy. The moon is a card of secrets and deception. It's a very dramatic card. I'm going to tell you guys about the Kaizen way before we end this reading. I've been telling everybody everybody about it and, and all of my uh, and all my readings. Oh, let, me, let me see the High Priestess card. The High Priestess, please. The High Priestess. The High Priestess for uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The High Priestess. What's this card? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The High Priestess. Page of Pentacles reversed. Okay, this is about somebody not being aware of something, not understanding something. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the, bottom of the deck, Page of Pentacles. Okay, the Page of Pentacles reverse. That's somebody who, like, doesn't know how to do something. Like, I don't want to say they're stupid or ignorant, but, like, they haven't learned something. They have not learned something. Eight of Pentacles. Who hasn't learned something? Who? Who? Who is this? Who hasn't? Who doesn't understand something? King of Pentacles reverse with the devil. Who is this person? Who is this person? Who is this person? Who is this King of Pentacles reversed in the devil? Who? Who is this person? Is this the person now? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. I do not feel... Okay, look at this. Look at this. I can't make this up. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. 
This is not, give me one card, give me one card only. Is this somebody from the past? Is this somebody from the past? Four of Wands reversed. I definitely think this is somebody from the past. I really, really do. Is this a new person? Is this a brand new person? A brand new person? A brand new person? Is this a brand new person? So King of Cups and the Empress. Okay, so I see this one of two ways. I'm pick, I feel like I'm picking up two energies here. Definitely two energies. And that, that doesn't surprise me because I'm, I'm calling out to a bunch of you people. Um, so there's two kings here. There's a king of pentacles with the queen of pentacles reversed that is, that is corresponding with the devil card that a lot of you guys are still connected to. This is a karmic relationship most likely. Um, but then there's the king of cups with the empress card. This guy is looking pretty good. What can you tell me about this King of Cups? This is all coming out in regards to the High Priestess, which is all about your intuition. What can you tell me about this King of Cups? Yeah, this is brand new. Yep, brand new. This is brand new with the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune. Brand new, brand new. Different energy, completely different energy from what I'm seeing. Okay, this is a completely different energy. All right, shit, this reading is going to be... Whew. Okay. Um, okay, so we're at 16 minutes. Honestly, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna clarify this Queen of Wands and then I'm probably gonna move on just because of Four of Pentacles wants to come out. Somebody's holding on to something. Somebody's holding on to something. Somebody can't let something go in order to go into singlehood. But this is interesting. This is different than my other two readings. There's a distinctive two different energies here. See, look again, Ace of Cups. Somebody wants new love. Somebody wants new love, but somebody is holding on. Somebody's holding on to the past. Could we could have a yeah, we could have a fucking third party here. Jesus Christ. See, yeah, see. Did somebody I, I feel like somebody's waiting on somebody to either come back. Yeah, what did I just say? Somebody's waiting on somebody to come back. What did I just say? What did I just say? Queen of Wands, please. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, who's that right there? Who's that right there? Is that a match? You guys, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to comment on this video, please. I'm very connected to this energy right now. Very connected to it. I want to know what this is. See, again, again, somebody who's coming back. But they're not. That's the thing. They're not coming back. I'm not saying they're not, but like they're taking their motherfucking sweet time. See? The world. The world card. That's a card about completion. That's a card about, like, see, the lovers reverse. They're they're not they're not coming back towards you right now. What is this Queen of Wands, please? What is this Queen of Wands? Why did this come out for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? Four of Wands reverse wants to come out. Four of Wands reverse wants to come out. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they left you on the cold. They're not talking to you. Whatever it is. You're hoping to rebuild this. Four of want, four of cups again. We've seen this four of cups three times. Not giving you an offering. Boredom, stagnation, superficiality, numbness, blank, mute. Can I make this up? This is your person. Is this is this person is this person from the past? Is this person from the past? Is this King of Wands? I, mean, I know he is. Yep. This person's from the past. The Hierophant reversed. Yes. This person is from the past. This damn camera. Ace of Pen and they're not offering you anything. They're not offering you shit, man. They're not offering you shit. And and it's and it's it's I don't like it. I don't like it, man. I don't like it. Fucked up. Page of Wands, please, and then we've got to move on. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. I'm actually going to put these in here and give them a chance to come out because this is the last part I'm going to do for this section. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. The King of Swords upright and the King of Cups. There are two energies in this reading. You feel me? You heard? 
This is connected to the Libra Geminis and Aquariuses, and this is a completely different energy. This is someone different and new. I'm telling you. Yeah, with the with the full reverse. This is like taking 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 a chance. This is somebody that you guys are trying to untie yourselves from. You guys are trying to. You're, you're probably trying to pretty hard. Page of Wands, please. Page of Wands. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting reading. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this. I keep getting a Queen of Pentacles. Even though that that's not your actual sign, you know, because you're a Taurus, Cap, Virgo, your swords, you could, you could be coming up as a queen of pentacles. What is this page of wands? Why did this come out when I ask about Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, singles? What is this page of wands? You guys are waiting for someone that left you to contact you because you want them to come back. This is the energy. I'm telling you, there are two energies in this reading and the dominant energy, the dominant energy is this eight of cups. What is this eight of cups? Queen of swords reverse. Somebody who's not talking. Somebody who's not talking. Somebody who's not communicating. Somebody who's just made a decision. They're just hanging out. They're chilling. They're watching Netflix. Eh, I'm just hanging out. I'm just hanging out. High priestess reverse wanted to come out. King of Wands again. The Nine of Wands. I see this two different ways. I see this as you be just, man, you've been run through the mill. You guys are like at the end of your rope. The Nine of Wands, it's really close to the Ten of Wands. You guys are like, man, I have just, I've just almost had it, man. I'm almost at my breaking point. But you want to know what? I also see that as your, your person, your other person. Even though you're single, I'm telling you, this is someone from the past. They're coming through very, very clearly. Yes, the King of Wands and the Emperor Reverse. They're not, they're not coming through. But this is somebody from the past. This is just like my my water reading. Yeah, the Star and the Three of Pentacles. You're you're hoping for some healing here. You're you're hoping that this person's going to want to work on this. I'm going to pull just a couple of more. The Knight of Cups reverse wanted to come out. Give me two more for the Page of Wands. The Three of Pentacles came out. This is The Three of Pentacles came out. But what are they doing? They're being selfish with the Empress reverse. They're all about themselves. They're not thinking about you. They're not thinking about, oh, should I call them? Should I tell them what's up? Should I let them know? They're not giving you love with the Queen of Cups reverse. They've already made a decision. This is Seven of Cups reversed. Ooh, the Magician. What is this? Yeah, they... <sighs> Give me one more card on the Magician because the Magician can be somebody who can be very underhanded. Again... Okay, so what came out is the Four of Wands, which is, again, so I don't call the Four of Wands like a broken home because it can be reconstruction, but again, they're just chilling, man, with the Four of Swords reverse and the Seven of Pentacles reverse. They're like, you know, maybe I'll come back and give you my time at some point. The interesting is, is the Ten of Pentacles is here. So I'm actually going to tell you what I'm telling, what I told my water signs, and it's, I'm telling you, this energy is very similar. I feel like this person actually does care for you. They do. I feel like they do care for you. But they are not making this a priority. The Seven of Pentacles reversed. They're just like, this is, they're being very patient about this. And they're like, you know, yeah, I mean, the Five of Wands reversed. It's like, they, they don't, they don't want to fight for this. They don't want to fight for this. They don't want to, um, they don't want to, 
Yeah, see? The Ten of Wands reversed. The Ten of Wands reversed with the Ace of Cups reversed. Just just, just having those cards just fall out. It, it's in this order. The, the camera's not showing it in this order. Um, the Ten of Wands reversed. It's like they're wanting to let this burden go. They're wanting to let it go. They're not offering love. And with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it's like this is like... So the Wheel of Fortune is about divine timing, but this is, oops, sorry guys, it's not even showing the card. Um, this is like, I don't want to say it's bad luck, but it's like, it's like, there's the Page of Wands again. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. You might hear from this person. You might hear from this person. Yeah, see, the Queen... The Queen of Swords. You saw me pulling through all the cards, right? The Queen of Swords reversed. They're not talking right now. What are they doing? They're chilling again. The Four of Swords reversed. All right. I've seen enough of this shit. I've seen enough. Let's move forward. Okay. There are... There seems to be... Okay. I'm, I'm thinking about how I want to do this because honestly, there seems to be two different energies here. There really, really does. There seems to be two different energies um, and I'm thinking about how I want to do this. Ah, shit. Why do you guys have to make this so hard? Wow. Okay. The energy that I was just picking up for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, that energy, the energy I was just picking up from the person from the past that they seem to be fairly stuck on. You guys are. You can you can deny it all you want. You if if you guys want to let them go, that's fine. But they're coming up strong. They're coming up strong. What is the intentions? What are the intentions that that person has for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, please? Because I, I, I want to see something here. The person that I'm picking up. For Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who's coming up so very strongly in the cards. What intentions do they have for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, please? What are the intentions that they have for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? The snake reverse. That's interesting. So you know what? There could have been a third party. They might be gone now. We've got to clarify. What are What is that person's intentions for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? This person from the past that seems to be coming through fairly, fairly dominantly in the cards. Very dominantly, as a matter of fact. The intentions. The runner. Makes pretty good sense, doesn't it? One more card, please. One more card, please. The butterfly. Love call reversed. Oh, well, isn't that... Then that makes sense now. Love call reversed. Bottom of the deck, keys on the ring reversed. But what's interesting is that the butterfly came out, which is a, um, okay, so I don't want to take too much time here because we're already at 28 minutes. Okay. But I want to show you guys what you need to see. What is a snake card reverse, please, in regards to their intentions? Because I feel like this is a message you guys need to see. The snake card in regards to this person's intentions, the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the person that seems to be coming up from the past. What is this person's intentions for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? Snake card reversed. Justice reversed. Hierophant reversed. One more card, please. Seven of, seven of cups. Seven of cups, bottom of the deck, the hermit. And they're in hermit mode right now. So the justice card with the... Hierophant with the Seven of Cups. So they are, this is not fair. This is not a balanced relationship. They are not coming forward and making this a relationship at all. What are they doing? They're exploring their options, looking around. And the funny thing is that we got the snake card. The snake card is about, is about, you know, other possible people. The Seven of Cups. Give me one card on the Seven of Cups, please. 
Is this other... Wow, the strength card reversed and the world reversed. Okay, so this is this is kind of letting go of something, you guys. Bottom of the deck, the four of wands. I, I feel like this person... I feel like they still do care about you, but is it enough? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to pass on the, the runner just for sake of time. I'm going to go to the butterfly and the love call. What's the butterfly, please? The butterfly in regards to how this person feels about Lib Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, please. The butterfly, the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. How does this person feel about Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? The energy that I was picking up on from this person from the past the person from the past that I was picking up on. This person I was picking up on from the past, the high priestess. Nine of cups. Temperance. Oh, wow, okay, let me pull a few more. Page of swords. The Fool, Hierophant, Reverse wanted to come out, the Four of Swords, bottom of the deck. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This person does feel that they could have stability with you. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, they do. Yeah, but they're being selfish right now. But look at this. This person does care about you. But hold on a second. Don't get all crazy. And oh my God. Nah, 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 nah. But here's the problem. This is the last card, the Four of Swords. They're not doing anything about it. They're, they're in, intuitively, intuitively, they know that happiness does lie with you. But they're being very patient about this. And I also think that they know that a lot of healing is required in order to make this relationship come forward. They're really taking their time with this. Um, with the Page of Swords, I feel like it's possible that you guys may get a message. You may. With the Fool card, we could, you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, the other thing that also comes to me is that this person is the type that may just decide to... Give me something on the Fool. Give me one card on the Fool. One card on the Fool. One card on the fool. Yeah, see? The Ten of Cups reversed. I, I, I see, I, I feel like this person wants, wants to come out of conflict with you. I really do. One more card on the fool. Yeah, yeah, see? Shit, I don't want to get your guys' hopes up. I, I, I feel like, believe it or not, this person even does want to come back to you. I don't want to get all your hopes up. We're clarifying the healing the inner child and growth. Um, we're, we're clarifying the fool card. But here's the deal. What's this four of swords? It's that devil card right there. Two of Pentacles, just juggling shit. Bottom of the deck, Page of Wands. There is communication here. There is communication. Oh, look at that, the Ace of Cups. What is this Page of Wands? The Death card? Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, this Queen of Pentacles keeps coming up. Queen of Swords reversed. The Sun card. Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, this is how I see this. For all of you people that are waiting for somebody. This person could very well come out of nowhere. Page of Swords. I feel like this person's very calculated. Yeah, the Five of Swords reverse. They don't want any drama. They don't want any conflict. The nine of swords yeah here's their energy right here they, they haven't they haven't completely let this go it's weird i'm getting like a seesaw energy with them see look at this i'm clarifying the page of swords 
in order for them to give you an offering, this is interesting because see here, understand something. I'm clarifying this card, the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So when I was just drawing cards before, I wasn't clarifying like an oracle card. I really need to keep moving um, because I'm not going to go over an hour. I'm not going to. Um, it takes too long to upload this video. Okay. Um, all right. Ugh, this is fucked up. It's <laughs> it's fucked up because I I thought that this was gonna be a singles reading. It's not that you guys can't be single, but um, I'm seeing I'm seeing you guys holding out for something that could be coming around. For the people, for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, for the other energy that I was seeing, for the other energy, for the other energy, please switch over, please switch over. For the other energy that I was seeing, I was seeing a King of Cups. Can you show me the intentions that that person will have for, Lib for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? Look at this energy. Look at the change. Heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect, perfect. The other energy, the other energy that I was seeing for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the King of Cups, what kind of intentions will they have for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? The other energy, sunglasses reversed, that's interesting, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, interesting, got the butterfly again, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth, love call reversed, okay. Heart with the key. Look, I, I just got the debt. Look at this. King of Pentacles. Welcome, love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together. Perfect. Okay, what does this mean for the people that I'm seeing a brand new energy for? A brand new energy. The sun and the four of wands. A brand new energy for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. A brand new energy. Heart with the key. Can you clarify this card, please? Heart with the key. Heart with the key, please. Heart with the key. What's this new energy? What's this new energy? The Hermit. Ace of Cups reversed. It's not the right card. Page of Wands reversed. Page of Wands reversed. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands. Okay, Queen of Wands, bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. Okay, I'm going to go around and clarify each one of these one time. What's the Hermit? What's the Hermit? This wants to come out. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups reversed, please. Okay, this, this, okay. Hmm. Page of Wands reversed, please. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. See these cards, as I'm going back over them and clarifying them, they're, they're, Okay, so this King of Cups that we're seeing, this person might be detached. This person might be detached. Four of Swords reversed. This person is starting to look not as amazing. Page of Cups reversed. King, Queen of Wands. Empress. Okay, I'll tell you right now, overall energy, Seven of Cups. This person is going to be like the person that I'm seeing for you guys. It looks like they're going to be like looking at all different types of things look at that right there king of swords reversed it's like they're not necessarily just looking at you it's that seven of swords what's the seven seven of cups excuse me okay so see the queen of cups came up with the hierophant reversed seven of cups Seven of Cups, Judgment Reversed. This is Judgment Reversed card. Okay, Eight of Swords. One more card on Judgment Reversed. Is this the new energy they're going to meet? That's not the right. Oh my God, yes I do think it is because we have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. One more card. Is this the new energy they're going to meet? 
The magician reversed with the lovers reversed. <sighs> you ever heard that saying you gotta go through a lot of kiss a lot of frogs before you meet the right one? <laughs> okay. Um Okay, this new energy that I'm seeing for you guys doesn't look like it's going to be the one. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, without going through all these cards in, in the interest of time because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this at an hour because it takes a while to upload it and I'm going to do fire signs. Um, With the Ace of Cups reverse being clarified with the Two of Swords, it's like they can't make a decision about really offering love. The Page of Wands reverse being clarified with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, I don't like that. It's like either bad communication or bad news or like not communicating well with you. And with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, that's just, ooh, that's horrible. That's like... <sighs> The Wheel of Fortune is such an amazing card. So seeing that clarifying a card in reverse, that's really bad news. This Knight of Swords reversed with the Eight of, clarifying with the Eight of Cups reversed, this makes me feel like this person you're getting involved with. And even over here, because you guys, I feel like you guys are coming up as the Queen of Wands. Do you remember when I initially pulled your cards and you came up as the Queen of Wands? The Seven of Cups was clarified with the Queen of Cups. And then over here, I clarified it with the Judgment card, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Cups. This, to me, is somebody who may be kind of bound to somebody from the past. And with this magician reversed, this is somebody who's kind of underhanded. And the overall energy of all those all those cards I pulled was the lovers reversed. I don't like this. That love call reversed right there. You want to know what this could be? This could be them contacting this other person. Like while they're contacting you. Does this mean that you're never going to meet anyone? No. But what I'm seeing... What I'm seeing, yeah, see, page of pentacles reversed, somebody disloyal, bottom of the deck, six of swords reversed. This is somebody who's thinking about going back to somebody. Okay, so this energy between the two of you guys is so similar, it's not even funny. One energy that I have is of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius holding on to something from the past that could be stopping them from going into singlehood. The other energy that I'm picking up on is people that are single and ready to mingle, but the person that I'm seeing them encountering is, is, uh, is like not, they don't look like they're ready for something serious. For Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the people that are single and ready to mingle, seriously, for the people that are single and ready to mingle, show me this person that they're going to meet. Show me something about this person that they're ready to meet. For this new person they're going to meet, what do I need to see about this person? For Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, for this new person they're going to meet. Okay, so bottom of the deck, it says pretend, mask, exaggeration, and bluff. These do come out reversed sometimes, but um, I don't always read them reversed. Confusion, puzzled, unsettled, unclear. What else do I need to see about this new person that Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius will be meeting? This new person, this new person, please. Okay, euphoria, chasing thrills, joy, laughter. It's 
See, this isn't talking about commitment, though. Give me in one more card here for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person they're going to meet. Oh, shit. Emotional world when affected, dramatic, unstable. See? No. That's fucked up, man. Mm -mm. For Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, for the person from the past, for the person from the past that they could very well still be holding on to, whether they admit it or not. Whoa. That's so interesting. Influences, third-party influences at the bottom of the deck. It's reversed, but show me what Libra, Gemini, Aquarius needs to see about this person from the past. The person from the past, please. I should. I better keep drinking my coffee. I still have to do fire signs. You guys, please like this video if you're finding this information to be helpful. Also, please leave a comment after the video. Okay, it's very important to me, and also it makes me very happy to read your comments. And I put a lot of time and energy into these readings for you guys. I try really hard to tune in and give you just the best advice and guidance possible. These readings are not always what you want to hear, but I feel like they're what you need to hear. I call them, I always say they're not Candyland readings, but they're what you need to hear. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person from the past, this person from the past. What does Libra, Gemini, Aquarius need to see about this person from the past specifically, please? What do they need to see? Oh, shit, look at this. Bottom of the deck, clashing. Differences, incompatibility, conflict, trapped, stuck, tied down, captive. Oh, shit. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this person from the past. Wow, same card. Euphoria, chasing thrills, joy, laughter. Bottom of the deck, loss, grief, sorrow, pain. One more card, please. Bottom of the deck, feminine energy. That makes me think that there could be a third party, maybe. Um, memories, bittersweet, dwelling, reminiscing. So that tells me that this person probably still thinks about you. I told you, this person, this person, um, I, I feel like this person cares about you. Okay, I have a timing deck here. And I really don't like to do timing because timing can be really off. But let's just see what comes up. For Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, singles that are single and ready to mingle. Can you give me a timing on when they're going to meet someone new? <laughs> One of these cards says tomorrow. <laughs> What if we see tomorrow? That'd be funny. So for uh, Taurus Cap Virgo, I got winter, which we just started winter. For Libra Gemini Aquarius, for the singles that are looking to meet someone brand new, can you tell me approximately when this new person will be coming into their life? Approximately when for Libra Gemini and Aquarius? Approximately when? Okay. Okay. See, this is why I don't like this deck. It says a week from now, reversed. I'm going to draw two more. I mean, shit, it, that could be possible, but... Give me two more cards, please. When this person could be coming into their life. Okay, look what's at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is your answer. This is what Taurus Capricorn Virgo got. They got winner. The other cards that came out three weeks from now and summer reversed. I don't really like this deck. I really don't. But the fact that winter was at the bottom of the deck, this makes sense to me. We just started winter. My birthday is on the first day of spring, March 20th, the spring equinox. So that means between now and March 20th, you could very well meet someone. Look at this. 
Divine timing is in play. Right behind that, January. Right behind that, the answer is yes. Your situation requires patience. Okay, so I, I feel like, I almost feel like what was behind winter was more of the answer. So the cards that popped out, fuck those cards. Winter, I feel is definitely more of something that, that we need to look at. Um, I'm going to draw a couple of these Moonology cards and finish up with you guys because I don't want to go over an hour. This takes a while to upload. Give me the advice right now for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as a whole, whether they're the first energy or the second energy. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Advice from the universe. What do they need to know right now? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, please. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, this just just see a win-win outcome is a win-win a win-win outcome is is in forecast. That card jumped out. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. The most dominant energy. What is the most dominant energy right now for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius? What do they need to see? What do they need to know? Card on the table. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This wants to come out. This wants to come out. It's in my hand. I'm gonna take it. Ooh. Ooh. This also wants to come out, and I'm going to take it. All right. Th Both of these are strong as fuck. Y'all ready for this? Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Believe in the impossible blue moon. These are strong. Bottom of the deck. The answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. Um, let's see here. Let's draw a couple of love cards here. For overall, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, overall, can you give me love cards? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, whether it's the first or the second energy. Let me see for both energies, please. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You guys expect powerful change, believe in the impossible. Those are like, those are, there's like only a few cards in the deck that are like really like strong like that. You guys got some strong ass cards. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What do they need to see right now, please? Whoa. What do they need to see right now, please? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What do they need to see right now? Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind, regardless of how I'm going to, this is the perfect time for me to tell you guys about that Kaizen book. Chemistry. Chemistry. Bottom of the deck, you deserve love. You are lovable. Do not forget that. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. True love. True love. So somebody, bottom of the deck, express your love. So I'll pull one more. One more for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. One more. One more for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, this is interesting. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So being playful. So having fun, not being so serious. Keep an open mind, chemistry, true love, playfulness. Um, so in order to get to that point, you don't always have to be so serious and talk about like, you know, calculus and physics and all that. I'm being, I'm being stupid right now. But flirting and doing things like that. Um, I want to show you guys a book that I've been showing a lot of people. I've read this book and it's really cool. It's called One Small Step Can Change Your Life, The Kaizen Way. 
I'm going to read you this right here. Great change is made through small steps. Ask small questions, think small thoughts, take small actions, solve small problems. The science is irrefutable. Small steps circumvent the brain's built-in resistance to new behavior. So no matter what the goal, losing weight, quitting smoking, writing a novel, starting an exercise program, or meeting the love of your life, the powerful technique of Kaizen is the way to achieve it. This is written by a PhD, Robert Maurer. He's a clinical psychologist on the faculty of UCLA and the, Washington, uh, the University of Washington School of Medicine. I've read this book. It's an easy read. It's a short book. Uh, it's coming up. It's showing as $9.99 here. You can get this on Amazon. One Small Step Can Change Your Life, The Kaizen Way. It talks about a way of thinking. I want to talk to you guys about mindfulness for a minute. Being mindful, being mindful of what's happening now, regardless of what's happening in the future or what happened in the past. I know a lot of you guys are getting worried, depressed, anxious. What's going to happen? Are they coming back? Am I meeting someone new? Am I going to be alone forever? Am I getting married? Am I getting remarried? Are they ever going to leave that bitch? Et cetera, et cetera. If you practice mindfulness, if you can retrain your brain and retrain your thoughts, you guys, and it talks about that in that book, you can live a happier life. Um, I'm just going to get, we have like four minutes left. I'm just going to get some final, just give me, just give me Three, just give me three final cards, advice cards for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Three final advice cards for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This wanted to come out. Queen of Cups. I mean, it just flew right out. You guys deserve love. Love is coming. That just came out. Now I only need two cards. Give me two cards for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Advice, please. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Advice. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. The Ten of Swords. I love it. You want to know why? Because it's an ending and it's a new beginning. Look at this. See that deer in the background? You see that sun coming up? You see all that rising? Okay, that's not, that. that's, that's a new beginning. One more card. The Fool. I really hope you guys watch this all the way through. Look at this. Two of Cups. It's your overall energy. That's what you guys want, right? Two of Cups. Love. Um, just from looking at these cards, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Fool. And with that overall energy is the Two of Cups. Um, there is a new beginning here for you guys. There's a new beginning. And everything that's happened in the past can come to an end. And you can have the ability to have a new beginning. Don't be afraid to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Especially with that fool card there. I'm looking at the cards behind. Some of you guys are still holding on to the past. All right, so we're at almost an hour. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, I hope this was helpful. I feel like I really tuned into your energy. I felt very, very tuned into it, as a matter of fact. Please like this video. Please comment on this video. I really appreciate your comments. Um, I am taking readings. It is emilyhalifaxreadings at gmail.com. The information is going to be in the video. I take readings Tuesdays through Saturdays. 
I am pretty busy. Bethany keeps me pretty booked. She doesn't play. Um, and I do vid uh, readings through Zoom, so we're one-on-one -on, -one on cam. I do 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and an hour. I used to do 15 minutes. I don't do them anymore. They're too short. Um, but I would be happy to connect with you. I can answer specific questions. This is a general reading, you guys. If you come to me with specific questions, it's, it's going to be different. Uh, I can read on anything. I'm a really, a really good card puller. I've honed that skill over the last almost two years. I didn't used to be a card puller. I used to just lay cards down. Um, but I've honed that skill and it's made my readings way more accurate. So I'm, I'm, that's something I'm proud of. But at any rate, um, thank you for connecting with me this evening. I really hope this was helpful and I, I hope it gave you some guidance. And um, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.